And then breaking news, homes evacuated after a brush fire kicked up in Racine County. Chopper 4 with power zoom over the scene in the town of Burlington. The ground, of course, is dry from weeks with no water. And crews spent hours battling that fire today. Tom Murray is live near Wheatland Road with the latest. Tom. Well, Mike Carroll, firefighters used the area here near these barns as a staging area. They successfully knocked down this fast-moving brush fire. We just got a close-up look at the damaged area. This is what it looks like just after firefighters put out a fast-moving brush blaze. The fire burned dry cattails in this marshy swamp, threatening nearby homes and crops, but never getting that far. I think the flames at one point we're probably 15 to 20 feet high. Here we are. Ken Hulenhank has lived here for 45 years and was out searching for cattle when he saw the fire. He took us out to the burned area on an ATV. I came around the corner and all of a sudden, go, you know, the, the swamp's on fire. Kyle Tim also helped firefighters. It's hard access. There's really no good way to get to it. The conditions so swampy that firefighters couldn't get their heavy trucks to the worst areas instead relying on ATVs of their own. The ground is dry, it is windy, the fire quickly spreading to about 80 acres. Firefighters positioning themselves near threatened houses, some residents briefly evacuated. I think the biggest challenge was getting to the fire. Um, we responded to multiple locations to try to get access to the fire and being a swampy area, uh, we do have a few ATVs that are stuck. And that big brush fire happening along that tree line there in the distance, firefighters still don't know yet what caused the fire. It is interesting that just today the town of Burlington issued a burn ban because of the dry conditions we've had here in this area. On your side, live in Racine County, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of challenges because of this dry conditions. Thank you, Tom.